Let's talk about salt for a second. For health reasons, we often try to cut down on salt. It can make us puffy, retain water, mess with our blood pressure. On the other hand, popcorn would taste just like styrofoam without that little shaker with the S on it, plus a gallon of butter. One little known historic use for salt was when it was used with the goal of making a better bowl. No bloating involved. Pottery, making bowls, jars, and plates out of clay has been around for eons. Part of the process includes firing or baking items in an ancient device called a kiln. Kiln is basically an oven that is heating pottery up to create a more rigid surface in the clay, as most of them are made out of very high refractory brick. But special kilns, such as a salt kiln, can help waterproof and beautify pottery. I met up with Josh Wojcik, the Henry Ford's Crafts and Trades Program Manager at the museum's pottery shop to learn how a pinch of salt can not only change what's in a pot, it can change what's on it. What is a salt kiln? So salt kiln has a specific use in which the firing process, we introduce salt at the high temperature. And what that does is it reacts with the flame and vaporizes. The vapors then attach themselves to the silica and the alumina in the clay and create the glaze. The glaze seal makes the clay impermeable, and this magical chemical reaction is generated by the extreme heat inside the kiln. This whole thing rolls in? Yes, and then we would turn the burners on <sighs> to start the flame. And what we'll do is slowly increase the temperature from the starting point over two days to get it up to about 2,350 it degrees. take two days to get it that hot. It will. The sodium chloride that is salt, it separates. So the sodium attaches to the clay body, the chloride becomes a gas and is exhausted out of the flue. The salt kiln is heated slowly to allow the clay inside to harden without cracking. Obviously, adding salt to a 2,300 degree oven requires special equipment like Kevlar gloves and a heat shield. Our demonstration is for show only. And if this were for real, there'd be a lot of heat coming out there'd of there. There'd be a large flame. So go ahead and scoop. Good job. Go ahead and turn and dump. Then we would replace the brick quickly as we can, let it vaporize, let it sort of... Sorry, I'm superstitious, I hope I didn't <laughs> spill any salt. It takes up to 30 pounds of salt for the kiln's natural convection process to glaze this entire cart of pottery. It takes another five days for the kiln to cool down. Well, I guess I'll see you in a week. See you in a week. The final result was well worth the wait. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The glaze has been fully fired and the salt has reacted with the silica in the clay body and we have this nice sheen to the Can surface. I, I think, yeah, it does have a nice sheen. Can I have one? I think in this case we can make an exception. It's a beautiful piece. I hope you'll treasure it forever. Oh, geez, thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Gosh. They're durable, but not that durable. Oh.